What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, and today I'm back with another video, this time once again, we're going to look at the LA Lakers, who currently are 0-2 and haven't won a game this season. And last night, they had a very disappointing game versus the Phoenix Suns, where they're getting blown out by 30 plus points. Now in this game, the most exciting things actually happened off the court, instead of on the court for the Lakers. In this game, you had Dwight Howard and Anthony Davis fighting on the bench. Yeah. Anthony goes over to Dwight. When Dwight stands up, Anthony puts his hands on him, and that seems to agitate Dwight Howard. You had Rondo ejecting a fan. Oh. What is that guy doing? Are you kidding me? You had LeBron playing no defense. Not sure he caught ball, but... Yeah, but I don't think he caught arm either. Me either. I so think I think it's a good no call, but why is he... He barked at the, 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 the bench, but why is he standing back here? And you had Devin Booker rocking the baby on Kent Bazemore. A 28 made field goal. Booker kept his left foot down twice, gets it to go, plus the foul. So all in all, a pretty bad night to be a Lakers fan as they got waxed on the court. Now after starting out 0-2 for any normal team, this would not be panic mode. By this time, we're talking about the LA Lakers, who already have added pressure, and LeBron James, the biggest superstar in the game, who brings immense pressure with the media and the overall coverage. So with LA being 0-2, it is not the end of the season, but this is an absolutely terrible start for this team, as well as their chemistry. And already seeing Anthony Davis and Dwight Howard fight on the bench is a pretty bad sign for things to come. It's not the end of the world, but in game two, to already be fighting and bickering, not a very good sign if you're a Lakers fan. Now very, very quickly, there are two positive things for the Lakers. This year, they still have LeBron James and Anthony Davis, who so far have been outstanding in both their games. But the problem I see is in their third option, that being Russell Westbrook. Now coming into the year, I did defend Westbrook. I said give him time, and I'm not giving up on him yet. But so far, he's averaging 12 points per game on 35% shooting the field, 0% from three, and 37% from the free throw line. Also, he's adding in 4.0 turnovers per game. Again, take it with a grain of salt. We're only two games in, but not a good start for Westbrook to his LA career. And coming into the season, one thing we knew for sure is that this team would be filled with drama. On the roster, you have Dwight Howard, you have Rondo, you have Westbrook, Carmelo, LeBron, Anthony Davis, an absolutely packed roster of all-star talent as well as former all-star talent. And in that regard, they remind me of two Lakers teams from the past, that being the 2013 Lakers and the 04 Lakers. And first up, looking at the 2013 Lakers, this team was led by Kobe Bryant, who's still in his prime at age 34 years old. They also had Dwight Howard, who was 27, Paul Gasol was 32, Steve Nash, who was 38, Meta World Peace, who was 33, and Antoine Jameson, who was 36. So definitely a veteran-packed lineup with most players past their overall peak. And one of the big-time downfalls for this Lakers team was injuries as well as their age. And if you were a big-time Kobe fan during this year, you know he carried this Lakers team throughout the entire season. And about midway through the season, Kobe himself acknowledged this Lakers team, they were old, they were slow, and they were stuck in the mud. And what that eventually led to was Kobe carrying LA for a month and then him hurting his Achilles versus Golden State. And it's hard to believe it's almost been a decade since this team played, but if you can think all the way back to this time period, it seems like every other game this roster, they were bickering, they were fighting, and they were having on-the-court tantrums. But this is the garbage you can't have. You know, you can get into it, but it's just happening too often. And it's always over the ball. And as you saw in that video, Dwight Howard, he was at the middle of almost every single fight, and every single story that was leaked from the Lakers. And it feels like this year it's come full circle as Dwight Howard once again is at the center of Lakers chemistry controversy. So when looking at the 2013 Lakers, it wasn't just injuries, it was also personality and overall play style and fit. And once again, looking to this year's Lakers team, that has also a couple of their big time concerns, specifically with Russell Westbrook. Now looking at the 04 Lakers, very similar, they are also a very old team. They led by Shaq, who was 31, had dealt with some injuries. Kobe, who was 25. Gary Payton, who was 35. And Carl Malone, who was 40. And those four players 
were the only guys in double figures for this Lakers team. Very similar to this year's Lakers team, who is extremely top heavy with bench guys who are definitely hit or miss. Looking at the 04 Lakers, their best scoring options were Slava Medvedenko, Devin George, Derek Fisher, Kareem Rush, Rick Fox, Brian Cook, and old Horace Grant. I mean, looking at this year's Lakers team, the players who are on double digits, it's pretty much a crapshoot for those players. You have Austin Reeves, who I like, Malik Monk, Kent Bazemore, Rondo, Avery Bradley, Dwight Howard, and DeAndre Jordan. Some guys' names do stick out, but those guys mostly are past their prime and very, very old. And I don't want to predict injuries, but looking at what history indicates, this Lakers team health-wise is not in good shape for injury history. And if you recall the 04 Lakers, the biggest injury they had was Carl Malone and his knee. That lone injury derailed their championship hopes as they had no backup forward to replace him. Also look at the 2013 Lakers. Pau Gasol and Steve Nash both missed 30 plus games. Dwight Howard had a disc injury the entire year and he was not the same player. And Kobe toughed it out and played 78 games. So from an overall health standard, both those Lakers teams struggled big time and those injuries derailed their championship hopes. So once again, look at the 2022 Lakers. They have LeBron James as superstar, Anthony Davis as superstar, Russell Westbrook a borderline all-star, and Carmelo a solid score. Once you get past that, it's pretty slim picking for a team with minimal depth. So that right there is the end of the video. I wanted to make this very quickly and kind of gauge your guys' thoughts on this Lakers team and their overall slow start. And like I said before, they are very, very old, the oldest team in the league with an average age of 30.8. From a historical standard, very few teams, if any, have won at that age. The 98 Bulls, the 2011 Mavericks, 69 Celtics being one of the few teams who win championship with an average age above 30. So with that being said, as always, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time.